Kourou, French Guiana. In a dedicated clean room, one of ESA's new Galileo satellites is going through a fit check. Here, the satellite's condition and functions are being checked thoroughly one last time before launch. Together with three of its brothers, this satellite will be sent into orbit on top of an Ariane 5 launcher. It will be the third and final Ariane 5 launch for Galileo, and these satellites truly mark the end of an era for the program. They are the final satellites needed to complete the first cycle of building the constellation. With this launch, we will have a complete uh, constellation for operational purposes, but yet without the necessary reserve satellites, which are essential if, we, uh, if ever something goes wrong, that we have, of course, backups. And so we have said that we would move towards around 30 satellites in orbit, um, that is 24 operational and six reserves. This uh, amount uh, will be reached. We may sometimes be under that. Uh, we may sometimes, after a launch, be over it. So this is a figure which fluctuates a bit. The important number is that we need 24 satellites for operational purposes functioning at any one time. Once the satellites are in orbit, the constellation will comprise 26 satellites and be fully operational for the first time. Quite an achievement when you consider that 22 of these satellites were only launched in the last four years. And when you recall ESA had no experience in satellite navigation when the Galileo program started. It was also the first time the European Space Agency had to build so many satellites in such a short time. However, ESA and industry faced up to this challenge and have now mastered both this technology and the production process. The good success of being able to produce in uh, such a series is, is also and maybe mainly because uh, of a design which is uh, uh, taking in, uh, in uh, high priority the production needs, the production accessibility needs. But the satellite design was not solely focused on the mass production aspect. The quality of the navigation signal and of the services are key to the success of Galileo. The European-developed Maser clocks on board the satellites have now proven to be 10 times more accurate and stable than the other clocks used by competitive systems. A result well beyond expectations. The quality of the Galileo performance can be assessed by its users who have had access to the initial operational services which were started by the European Commission two years ago. Furthermore, new smartphones are ready to receive Galileo signals so Europe finally has its own operational satellite navigation system, a must in the modern world. The system is important to Europe because uh, we have a high dependency on, uh, on GPS at the moment. Uh, around 10% of our economic activity uh, in the Western world is directly dependent on GPS. Of course, this is very high and this is dependence on a single system. So um, it is considered absolutely essential that we have not only our own system for um, obvious strategic reasons, but also because we need a backup. In the years to come, more satellites will join the constellation as spares or replacements. From 2025, a new and more powerful generation of Galileo satellites should be available to consolidate and enhance the system. It took many years to build Galileo, but now it is a shining example of a well-performing satellite navigation system. It allows Europe to be at the forefront of a domain that is now fully part of our daily lives.